Hi, I'm Amy Raup, live from New York City. Thanks for joining me today. Did you just see that statistic that was just put up before I came on? One in six women between the ages of 29 and 44 were prescribed an antidepressant in 2006. I don't know about you, but that gets me a little upset. Um, that statistic was actually the inspiration for my first book, Chill Out and Get Healthy. What it says to me is, unfortunately, antidepressants are quite overprescribed in this country. Now, don't get me wrong, antidepressants serve a very important purpose, and they can be life-saving, life-changing for many people. And this in no way is a judgment against, you know, anyone taking an antidepressant. All it is is just a way to open up the conversation that we need to get a grip on managing our stress and our anxiety. Often what happens for me is, is I'll get someone in my practice maybe three years after being prescribed an antidepressant that they were put on or when they were dealing with, say, the death of a loved one or a bad breakup, you know, that their general practitioner prescribed to them. There was never any follow-up. There was never any recommendation for therapy. You know, there was all these little steps that were missed that, that should have been put in place so someone could learn how to deal with their emotions and then decide whether or not they needed to take a pill every day to help them manage their way through life. So often what I'll do with patients is, you know, obviously encourage them to talk to their doctors about maybe getting off their medication if that's the step they want to take. Either way, though, the, the biggest thing I, I try to do is really encourage them to kind of get in touch with their own emotions. In my book, my first book, I dedicate an entire chapter to this topic. It's called Mental Detox. And it's basically about managing daily stress and daily anxiety. I came up with what I think is a pretty convenient to remember acronym um, that you can kind of work through on a daily basis, uh, especially when you're just dealing with an issue that's really kind of bumming you out or, or, or stressing you out. The acronym is Be Calm. The B stands for Be Healthy. So by that, I mean kind of what the basis of the rest of the book is about and you know my, my general recommendation to eat healthy, sleep seven to eight hours a night, get some exercise. The E is for express yourself. Um, this is probably, I think, one of the most important parts of dealing with any kind of emotional crisis or, or anything that's going on in your life is, is not harboring resentment or keeping emotions in. in. In traditional oriental medicine, we see that as a way of actually stagnating one's energy and creating what we call actually a depression of energy, which can then lead to actual emotional depression. So it's all about kind of getting it out. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go and scream at your cab driver or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about expressing the way you feel, even if it's just a conversation between you and you or if it's writing a letter to someone that you might never send, um, or just, you know, getting it out in some way, shape, or form. Some people find that, like, writing is their way of expressing themselves, or, or acting, or singing, or, you know, going for a long run. Whatever it is, just kind of get that emotion out. Do not keep it in. Um, an expressive body is a healthy body. The C stands for chill the F out. This is um, a common theme in my book, Chill Out and Get Healthy. CTFO time is basically a daily meditation, you know, where I really encourage you to take ideally five to ten minutes every single day um, to just chill out and check in. You know, you're just going to take a couple of deep breaths, check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? Are you still upset about whatever happened yesterday? Are you anxious about the meeting you're heading into? Are you upset about something, you know, that someone said to you? Or just what's going on? Chill out and check in. Or maybe even better yet, Am I feeling happy today? Am I feeling optimistic? Am I feeling good? Um, and, you know, some people say to me, I just don't have time for five to ten minutes. Okay, well, even take two minutes. You know, take a bathroom break and just take a little more time. Honestly, sit there in the stall for a couple more minutes. Take a couple deep breaths. You deserve it. The A is for acknowledging your desires, which I think that really comes from giving yourself the ability to express yourself and then also the ability to chill out and, uh, and check in. If you do that enough, I think you'll start to get a sense, too, of it. what it is I want. Where do I see myself going? How do I want this situation to work out? Or what am I doing that's actually creating resentment in my life? Am I not following my dream? Am I doing something for someone else and that's making me very unhappy? You know, it's just that time of, of tuning into your own desires. Uh, you know, I always say leading a desire-driven life is just, I mean, we all deserve that and we all should be able to get there. So tapping into your desires. 
you know, even if that's just kind of making a, making a short list, uh, you know, a near-term list of a couple things you want in your life. The L is for letting it go. So again, that goes back to, obviously these all build upon each other, that goes back to expressing yourself, taking the chill out time, acknowledging what it is you want, looking at the situation and just letting things go. You have to accept what's going on in your life. You know, one thing I always say, um, I say it so much, it's just you are where you're supposed to be. And then the M is for making it happen. So that goes to, you know, of course the chill out and check in time, CTFOing every day, acknowledging your desires, and then again, look at that list and make, make one of those things happen in, in two to three months, or make two of those things happen, or even make steps towards those things. Like, okay, what can I do if I'm unhappy in my relationship? Can I express myself to my partner? Can I learn to let things go? You know, and even if that's part of your making it happen, you might just feel a heck of a lot better doing just that, and your relationship could change dramatically, or even in work. You know what? I'm not happy. This really isn't suiting me anymore. Can I, can I see myself making a career change right now? What would my ideal career look like? What would it feel like? You know, just dive in a little bit deeper. And I think again, that's why the CTFO time just is so um, extremely important in this whole process. It's just if you give yourself the downtime each and every day, you'll get more and more in touch with yourself and how you're feeling, and then the direction you want your life to move in. So remember, be calm. You deserve it. Okay? That's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Until next time, be well.